Hello there, my name is Susie QZ Creates, and today I'm going to show you how I made this angry foo chibi. Alright, so I went ahead and skipped the sketching part because, I don't know, the sketch just takes up so much time. I found that the sketch was probably like a third of the size of my video or the length of my video. So I just went ahead and skipped all the sketching part. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing the sketch, then I can include that in future videos. Uh, but for now, enjoy this line art. <laughs> so I'd have to say doing the line art is probably one of my favorite parts of um, any art that I do. I just love doing the line art. Sketching is a little tough for me, um, especially because you're starting with nothing and creating something huge. <laughs> so um, I definitely enjoy the line art, although the key to any solid line art is definitely a solid sketch. So um, it's, it's tough, you know, finding that balance, but for the most part, I really enjoy the line art. Right here, I hide the line art underneath because I need to focus just on the eye part. And I notice that sometimes the eyes of the line art of the eyes gets lost in the line art beneath. So I hide that layer to focus on the face. Um, it just makes it easier. All right, so now I'm going to start working on the color. Um, I wanted to make this foo art like other foo art that I had already made. So I did a lot of jumping back and forth in Procreate to color pick and get the right colors I needed. Um, so I'm sure there was an easier way to do that. Maybe just importing the actual picture and then picking the color art from there. But, you know, I chose to do it the hard way. <laughs> So now I am filling in all of the base colors. Um, this is also a really fun part for me because the drawing sort of starts to come to life. I uh, really love picking a bolder color palette for any sort of chibi or emote art. Uh, it's just a lot more fun and um, just a lot more colorful and I just love the way that it looks. I find that doing the face uh, part of the colors is a little tricky too because you don't want to do the whites of the eyes too big or too small. Um, you sort of just want to make it meet just right with the eyelash part. Uh, so I always struggle with that. I find that I always have to come back and redo the eyes multiple times until I get it right. But that's just the name of the game, I guess. <laughs> So now I am adding different shading um, and see right here is when I decided I didn't like the eyes. <laughs> I added the pupils up a little bit more to make it look like she was scowling up. Um, but yeah, I added some uh, shade to the colors, just different base shadings to add some, you know, dimension, I guess. Um, now I'm working on the eyes. So the eyes are always really tricky for me to work on. Uh, I've taken a lot of inspiration from other chibi and emote artists, and I've sort of combined a lot of what I've learned from them into this to try to make it my own style. Um, I am still think I still think that I'm working on getting the eyes just right in my own style. Um, but for the most part, I think I've found a good balance here so far. So I really like doing the little light bubbles and or the white bubbles into the eyelashes and all that cool stuff. I like adding the eye shading, um, all of the little bubbles inside the eyes. It's just really cool to me. So I, I found a really good balance with how I like to do the eyes on my little emote drawings. Alright, so now I'm going to add uh, some shade, even more shade and shadowing. So I used to do something called magic shadows where I would just add like a gray color um, onto the places where I wanted shadow to be. And then I would add a multiply filter on top of that so it would like pull the color underneath and just make it darker. But I found sometimes that was too dramatic and I wasn't getting exactly the right colors. So now I color pick a shade darker than what the base shade is. And I just fill in my shadows that way. And I think it just looks way better and it makes it look a lot more bold too, which is, I love, I love the bolder colors. Now I'm adding some highlights. Um, highlights are really cool too. Now this is something that I do add a filter onto. I guess we could call it magic highlights. <laughs> um, I do white highlights, just plain white color. 
and then I will add an overlay filter onto that and then I'll adjust the opacity so that um, it's not too bright and in your face but it's there enough to add some sort of uh, dimension. <laughs> All right, and this is my favorite part, is adding the darker, bolder outline around the outside. Um, there we go again with the dimension, but it does add a lot of dimension to it. It's just one of my favorite things. I feel like it makes the whole thing pop too. And there is the completed foo chibi angry emote whatever you want to call it um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what else you would like to see and um i'll see if i can make that happen all right bye